Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, Poco smartphones and uh, Realme smartphones. And uh, these smartphones actually have caused quite a bit of stir in the Indian market because of their aggressive pricing. And here are my raw thoughts about it, what they are doing good and what are the some things that they are doing wrong. And first, let's talk about uh, Poco and uh, the Poco is a sub brand of uh, Xiaomi and I think so they launched this uh, smartphone uh, to tackle uh, stuff like uh, Asus Zenfone 5Z or the OnePlus uh, 6 being very aggressive priced at just 21,000 for the Snapdragon 845 and it has caused quite a bit of stir. I've already posted my review. If you want to know about that, check out that video. I won't talk about specifically this features of this phone, uh, but about the brand. And again, this uh, Realme also was launched. This was the Realme 1 that they launched a couple of months ago. Now we have this Realme 2. This is uh, actually by Oppo, a uh, sub-brand of Oppo, but now they have separated. Uh, but there are a few things that these brands are not doing right in my frank opinion. Yes, in terms of pricing, they are so, sort of disrupting the market. For example, I feel this Realme came out to tackle Xiaomi's and others which were very aggressive in the market and they tried to actually undercut them. But now let's first talk about uh, Realme first, then I'll come back to the Poco. Uh, for example, you all uh, guys know that the Realme 1 was launched earlier and uh, it has cutting edge specs now uh, what do you say the helio p60 chipset and their entry level price was just 9000 rupees this was insane because p60 is a very good chipset comes close to snapdragon 660 so it was insane performance uh, uh, and uh, now sadly if you notice the 9000 rupees variant of this device is no longer available uh, the realme one the base variant is now at 11000 because i feel they frankly couldn't sustain the pricing of the 9000 rupees variant and they launched uh, this one the realme 2 uh, now and then the base variant of this one is at 9000 rupees and i feel uh, these brands yes to stir up the market uh, they are actually launching it at a very very aggressive price and everybody is noticing them let's take the example of this uh, realme one uh, as i told you the realme one 9000 rupees for helio p60 chipset insane uh, i would say but they omitted the fingerprint scanner on this one and in fact in terms of looks and specification this is actually very close to uh, oppo f3 which was selling for 21,000. so certainly uh, i would say uh, they are sort of undercutting the market but let's see what happened with the realme 2 they launched the realme 2 they i think so they were not able to sustain the pricing of this one hence they launched this realme 2 but if you look at the specs, the Realme 2 is not a bad phone, Snapdragon 450 SoC. Now they bring uh, brought back the fingerprint scanner and this one has the dual camera setup. But again, if you compare it with the Realme 1, this does not look like a very exciting device. So it's that uh, they came with a bang with the Realme 1, but with the Realme 2, they simply couldn't sustain that very aggressive pricing. It's not a bad handset for 9,000 rupees, but if you compare it with the Realme 1, this had a far superior uh, processor, I would say. Uh, so again, uh, these brands, yes, uh, to gain the market, the initial product uh, they are launching at a very, very aggressive price. But when the next variant comes, uh, I feel they are not very aggressive. I frankly uh, feel, don't get me wrong, this Realme 2 is not a bad product, but they shouldn't have uh, named this as the Realme 2. They should have actually launched this one as the Realme 1 Lite because we are hearing that they are launching one more product that will be known as the Realme 2 Pro. And I frankly feel right now, uh, I don't know the strategy of this uh, Realme. I feel they are just launching too many products. Uh, because I feel even this Realme 1 still is a very good product yes it doesn't have the fingerprint scanner that's what it is another thing that i do not like uh, with these new uh, devices is that yes this is this was sort of the oppo sub brand but recently just a month ago they said that they are now a separate entity from oppo but even on this realme 2 we still have the same ui that is the uh, color os ui that we find on oppo smartphones it's not bad but i would frankly say, uh, say they should have gone with the stock android kind of an experience because end of the day uh, many people actually prefer stock on android over a custom ui, UI like color os and they had a big opportunity to go with stock android or something close to stock android but they're continuing with 
uh, this color OS UI. I hope in the future they change that. Also coming to uh, the point is that, yes, obviously uh, Xiaomi has told us that this Poco is not just a one-off. They will be future phones even with this uh, Poco lineup, maybe the F2 or whatever, whenever it comes, maybe after six months, eight months or whatever. But the thing is that they have launched this Poco F1 at a very, very aggressive price, 21,000 for Snapdragon 845 uh, chipset. And my question is, uh, will they be able to sustain this pricing when they launch the F2? Because if they launch the F2 well, after eight months or whatever at a significantly higher price, then they would lose the brand image of this one. And also, we have known this, we have seen this with Xiaomi earlier also. For example, let's take the example of the Redmi Note 5 Pro. It was originally launched at 15,000, but after just after two months, they had increased the price to 16,000, saying that the pricing was unsustainable. So if they do something like that with the Poco F1, it won't be a good uh, situation. And also I feel uh, now, uh, this Poco F1, as they have launched as a new brand, this Poco brand, they should have gone with a stock UI interface but still this one is also going with me ui we already have a lot of uh, xiaomi devices with me ui as a new brand they should have differentiated it yes they have launched a new launcher on this but again underneath it's still me ui so i feel again that was a bad decision by xiaomi they should have gone uh, something very close to stock Android or even launch this with the Android one device or go with the route like what OnePlus did. Oxygen uh, OS is actually very close to stock Android but it just has some enhancements. So I feel uh, with this Poco, Xiaomi did a wrong thing by still, uh, what do you say, giving me a UI over it. And you do that, I don't think so. In terms of updates, it will be very, very quick. And some of the bugs of the Mi UI will be also there on this device. We have already noticed some bugs in my review as I did network issues some people were having and stuff. Yes, good thing is Xiaomi is updating it, but I feel they'll uh, missed a big opportunity by not going something like stock. That way they would have created a very different niche for the Poco devices. For example, if you want the Mi UI devices, we already have the Xiaomi devices. If you want, uh, uh, what do you say, something else, you want a powerful phone, but you don't like Mi UI, then you have the Poco devices, but now they have went with the MIUI, so I feel that's a wrong decision. Also, big thing is that with the next release of the Poco phone, can they be still be very aggressive in the pricing? And frankly, I feel Xiaomi is not very well decided what they wanted to do with this Poco brand. Uh, everybody is sort of complaining with the back of this phone. Uh, it's having that polycarbonate back. So it just does not look that much premium if you compare with other devices like Asus Zenfone 5Z or even the OnePlus X. Again, yes, they are a lot more expensive. And I feel, as I've mentioned already in my review also, I feel intentionally Xiaomi didn't uh, uh, add the glass back design and other things to make it look very much premium because they already have other phones in the premium segment like the Mi 8 or the uh, Mi Mix lineup. And I think so, they were scared that uh, it would overshadow that. So again, if you're launching a new brand, give it the full uh, push. Don't give a half-hearted attempt in my frank opinion. And so th these were my very quick thoughts with the Poco and the Realme uh, devices. It's good to see these brands are launching these sub brands at a very aggressive pricing. But again, uh, it will depend on uh, how good they provide the software experience. And frankly, I feel uh, Realme has done that. They have launched the Realme 2. Now the Pro is also launching. Don't launch too many products. Consumers don't need a new product every other month. Instead of that, just try to concentrate on the existing products that you have and provide good software updates and the security updates on time. That way, I think so people will appreciate a lot more. And I hope in the future releases, uh, even uh, what do you say, Realme, as now they are separate from Oppo, as they say, uh, come out with a new user interface because that is actually very important. Still, it feels like I'm using an Oppo device on this Realme device because of the color OS UI that they are using. And same as uh, for even, uh, what do you say, the Xiaomi Poco device. Don't get me wrong, Mi UI is not bad, but they missed an opportunity, I would say, by going with a cleaner, closer UI. Uh, for example, they could have done something like what? Uh, 
OnePlus is doing with the Oxygen OS. Even if you look at Zen uh, uh, phone 5Z uh, with the new UI, they have done a lot of improvements and it's not as bloaty as it used to be. And in fact, if you watch the Zen uh, phone uh, Zen, uh, Zen phone 5Z uh, update video that I made uh, uh, just uh, last week, after two months with the new updates, they have added a lot of uh, functionality to that. So I hope instead of launching uh, too many new devices, both the Spoko brand and the Realme brand, they launch few devices, but provide good updates in the long run and i feel that will be the main uh, differentiator in the long run how good they can provide software updates and how long will they support their devices so guys these were my quick thoughts about poco and uh, realme devices what do you guys think about the same do let me know in the comment section below would love to know your thoughts and guys if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys